Hi, my name is Raquel and I'm happiest on set or in the seat of a theater. And last night I went to an early access screening of The Blackening and I had a freaking blast. This movie is like clutch your tummy funny. It is so good, so well written. The jokes per minute is like bum 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 bum. It's one of those movies you'll probably have to see twice because you couldn't hear the next line through the laughter. And like if you need something to do for Juneteenth, you want to celebrate Juneteenth, go see this movie. Go see this movie twice. Like run this movie's numbers up because this is how we're going to get more, more and more diversity and more and more black led productions. If when they come out, we support them. And this one is easy to support because it is so good. It's so fun. My one suggestion would be to see it at a predominantly black theater because part of watching a black film is the black audience and the commentary and the <laughs> participation that comes with it. Like I, I went alone because I like to just see movies alone first and formulate my own opinion, but there was this lovely black girl next to me and we were just kiki in the whole time. Also, she had amazing shoes. So if by some chance you're watching this, I love your shoes still and I miss you. But what makes this movie stand out is its authenticity and its specificity. Like this, this couldn't have been written by anyone else besides like a black team or made by a black team because it's so specific. <laughs> and that is what makes the comedy just that much more there there are just some lines that if you don't know you don't know and if you know you know and that is what what separates it from just like an average comedy where the jokes will hit equally to every audience it might not i have seen some reviews where the kills are kind of not as you know because it is a horror but it's also a horror comedy so i kind of give it a pass with the kills not being all that like crazy but to be honest I mean, modern day America is enough gore. <laughs> so I'm, I, me personally, I don't mind that, but I'm also not like a huge horror fan. So yeah, no notes. Congratulations to the whole cast, but especially Dwayne Perkins who wrote this original sketch, got it made as a short on Comedy Central and then got it like made into a feature. That is the dream. That is amazing. Congratulations. Yes, more of this more of this. So celebrate Juneteenth by seeing this movie in theaters. It's like a guaranteed good time. I cannot wait to go see this movie again with like a large friend group.